An outlook covered by hues of brown means there's not going to be much rainfall this winter, right? Well, not exactly. What this rainfall outlook from the Bureau of Meteorology is actually telling you is the chance you'll get above or below average rainfall. That doesn't mean no rain or even low rain. It could be as small as a millimetre less than average, which you would hardly notice and still fall into that category. So how can you get the best info out of the long range outlook so that you can plan for your wedding, farm business or even the footy grand final in the months ahead? Well, let me show you. First things first, you can find the outlook on the BOMS website and it can be broken down into both rainfall and temperature and you can look up to three months ahead. Now, the nature of the atmosphere means it's not possible to predict the weather on a specific day, a month or three months in advance. But you can get a pretty good sense of your odds. For instance, if you want to know if your location is going to be really hot and dry over the next month, or if you want to know if it's going to be really cold and rainy, your best tool is the chance of extremes. These are the kinds of conditions that would be noticeably different. So to use this best, you've got to zoom in on your own location. But as an example, we're going to look at Melbourne. And you can see here, Melbourne is up to three times more likely to be unusually dry from June to August. That means if dry weather was what you were after, you've got pretty good odds. But the thing to remember about extremes is it's all relative to the place and time of year. Even in an unusually dry winter, Melbourne could still get rain a couple of times a week. There is a way to find out the specific totals of how much rain the bomb is betting on though. You can see those here. And now using Brisbane as the example, you can see the most likely scenario for the month of July is five to 10 millimetres all up. And for those who have trust issues, there's also this handy little section here called past accuracy, where you can keep tabs on just how accurate the bomb has been in the past.